Hey guys, I wanted to just come on and tell you guys about my Amazon story. And uh, I ordered a, a silicone wrap to use for my mugs, coffee mugs for sublimation. Now I was supposed to have the wrap, the first one I ordered, I was supposed to have it last Thursday between 10, 5 and 10 p.m. So about 8 o'clock, 8.30 that night, Thursday night, they sent me an email saying that um, there was a delay in me getting the order and I would receive it by 8 a.m. Friday morning. Well, Friday morning came and went. So I finally just told them to give me my money back because they didn't know where the package was or when I was going to get it, okay? So they refunded me my money and then like... I think about Saturday, I got an email saying that um, they had to return the packing package to the vendor or seller because there was a problem with the delivery. Okay, so I went back on yesterday and I ordered a silicone wrap from a different vendor, okay? So it was supposed to arrive today before 9 p.m. So I started checking the tracking and it told me that my order was en route. This was around nine something this morning. It said that it was en route out for delivery and it said that I was, I had five stops ahead of me. So I'm getting excited. Cool. All right. It'll be here soon. So kept working, checked a little bit later. It was like three stops. And I don't know how close they were to me, but I went to the bathroom and came back and it said it had been delivered. So I get excited. I go to the door and I see this right here. And this is what it was. Nothing. That's it. This is what Amazon left me today. Empty package. Ain't nothing in here. So I called them and they were like, let me see what our choices, our options are. Know what our options are is you just get my money back. So I'm done with ordering silicone wraps. I've never had these kind of issues with Amazon before, so I don't know what's up. Okay? Um, I don't know if it's getting close to the holidays and they're just doing shitty work. I don't know. But... To leave an empty envelope packaging at my door and took a picture. Took a picture. Anyway, um, so I just tried to do another mug and I just wanted to share with you guys. I did go back to using the masking tape because I've been getting ghosting without the masking tape. I didn't get ghosting the first time I did it when I used the masking tape. So until I can... Uh, do me a silicone wrap because I'm going to make my own. I'm not even going to order another silicone wrap from Amazon because they playing games and ain't nobody got time for that. Just think if I really was doing this to make money and I don't like using the masking tape because it leaves a stickiness. I mean, of course it washes off, but just to deal with this stickiness gets on my nerves. So I don't like the mask and tape, but um, I don't have another choice right now because Amazon's stupid. So I thought I would just unwrap this with you guys. Um, it is really hot, and I did the I did the silicone. I mean, I did the um, mask and tape and copy paper so that's what i have on here masking tape and cop copy paper and i did it in the um convection oven at 400 for um six minutes so we're gonna see what happens this time because the last mug i did it had ghosting on it so i don't know if it's i'm not wrapping them tight enough all I know is the first time I did one, I didn't have any ghosting. I cooked it too long, but I didn't have any ghosting. The colors came out perfectly. 
So if you want to see how to do them, then by all means, look at the video where I walk through the process with the masking tape. And that is what I used on this one. Ooh, baby. <laughs> I'm going to keep using the masking tape. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, woo. That is so pretty, y'all. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of myself. That is so pretty. So um, if you want to know how to do the process, guys, please, please, please utilize the masking tape if you don't have the silicone wrap because it has not worked for me without the silicone wrap. I don't know if I'm not wrapping it tight enough or what the case may be, but I end up with all kinds of ghosting um, on the mug when I don't use the masking tape. But that, hopefully you guys can see it. Happy holidays. It's absolutely beautiful. All right. So I just want to jump on and share my Amazon horror story with you guys. And uh, I'm going to make my own silicone wrap. I'm going to videotape the process and how I make it because I already got it planned out in my head. So uh, I'm just going to order the silicone mat and then um, put it together myself. So. Stay tuned for that. But if you want to know how um, to do this with the masking tape, there's a video in the sublimation folder. Um, not sublimation folder, but sublimation playlist. There is a video that I have when I used the masking tape. And then again, I cooked this um, at in the convection oven at 400 for six minutes. I went back to 400 for six minutes. The bulk uh, tumblers recommend 380 for six minutes and I just felt like I would do it for 400 instead and I think the colors came out absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful I love it I'm in love with this mold this is like my favorite all right um and if you have any questions guys about the process that you don't understand after watching the video feel free to reach out and I'll be more than glad to answer any questions that you may have okay all right, guys, if you are currently in my Facebook group, Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, thank you guys so much for being in my group. And if you are not, then please send us a request to join our group. And if you are currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, take these gloves off. Um, if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, um, thank you guys for subscribing. And if you're not and you're seeing me for the first time, um, and you like my tutorials, I have plenty of tutorials in my group on all types of crafting, um, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And always click that bell notification so you can be made aware of any time I upload video tutorials on my YouTube channel. And yeah, that's it. Um, I'm just going to keep this glove on. So I take this mug, this mug out my way and let it cool because it's still real, real hot. Um, but I'm going to take a picture. Ooh, baby's still hot. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. And you know, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. All right. Have a great day. Bye.